Hi guys, Brody here, and it's time for day two of surviving the forest. Well, I just woke up, and as the rascals might say, it is a beautiful morning. Full of productive possibilities. We could build a garden. We could build tier two of our fortress. There's just so many uplifting possibilities that I think I'm going to ignore them all and go look for mischief instead. After all, we survived our first night, so why not get a little cocky? I don't know if you guys tuned in for my last session of the forest, but I showed those cannibals what's up. I threw them into the lake, more or less, skipping a few details, but... Honestly, I manhandled them, so I'm ready for some more confrontation. If we can spark some conflict between me and the natives. Perfect. Point of contact. Oh yeah. This seems to be the wise thing to do. That was startling. Okay, well, the mischief didn't go that well. I'm in a cave. It's classic. Yeah. I feel like I should be a little more nervous than I am. I'm not too worried about it. These guys got nothing on me. Hmm. Anyway. See if I can't find anything special down here. Besides a noose. Well, that's pleasant. It's like some people were trying to work out near gravity and disconnected from their lower halves. That's unfortunate. Can't work out too hard. Doesn't end well. That's my excuse for being sedentary, anyway. Hmm. Someone really hates books. As an English major, I don't quite appreciate that. I love reading dead people's stuff. This is obviously the way out. You can tell by the incredible downhill slope and all the lovely things I'm finding. A lot of buckets and creepy dolls. And footsteps. No, oh, I'm unperturbed. There's some crazy buckets, I'll tell you that. Ooh. This seems less than ideal. <gasps> yeah. Well, 